Hey there, this is a Guardian Spear from The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. This is something that you get inside one of the shrines when you do the uh, test of strength. You gotta fight the Guardians, and once you defeat them, then they'll drop whatever it is that they have. Some have swords, some have shields, and some have spears. And this is one that, uh, it's the base model, and you can actually get other enhanced spears. The difference is that they're a little bit stronger and they have a little bit different heads to them. Some have two prongs, some have three prongs, but uh, I went with this one because uh, this is the first one that you get and it's more memorable for some reason. Uh, it's kind of like music. The more basic and the more time you spend with it, the more connection you have, I suppose. So yeah, this is Guardian Spear. It's pretty much made out of wood and acrylic and the electronics it has a PC, PC3, so all of these LEDs in here are um, analog LEDs, there's no NeoPixels in here, so all of them are all parallel together and uh, they run off of the main LED pad on the PC. Uh, it's got 7.4 volt pack, one of the new super output speakers from TCSS and uh, the panels and the blade are acrylic and the rest of it is just poplar wood and uh, I'll get into how I actually made it a little bit later but for now uh, I'll just turn it on I suppose so the sound font that it's running right now is light whip I also have uh, a silent font and then I put on the uh, the sword font that I made for the pedestal of time, but um, yeah, I thought this one kind of fit. Uh, you don't really have a whole lot of um, sounds for it in the game, but there is some, but this kind of matches what mm, I heard in my head, if that makes sense. Anyway, but uh, that's pretty loud. <laughs> But I took all of the swings out and replaced them with clashes. Uh, otherwise, just by doing a stabbing motion, you wouldn't get, you weren't going to trigger any clashes. But uh, yeah, so this is the the sword font that I made. It sort of kind of fits, but otherwise, um, it's got the. Uh, some of the, the link sounds in there, but otherwise the rest of it doesn't really fit. But um, the last one is silent font, so you don't have to hear anything when you turn it on, which is where I'll leave it for now. Okay, so like I said, the, the, the body itself is wood to include the pommel. Um, I know it's supposed to be the ball shoulder joint for a guardian, but I just sort of went with a, a wood and then covered it with rub and buff and stuff. But um, the LEDs, like I said, they're LED strip, manual, analog strip, not manual, analog strip, but um, in order to get the uh, the bright points and stuff, they're just centered on where the circle shape would be, so for this one, the, the there's only one LED in this one, but uh, this one, there's a LED centered right here, and then another one right there. Same thing with up on the head, there's a, a center right here, and... Yeah, just that one, but, um, yeah, it's acrylic, so the blade, um, in the game, the blade is kind of this kind of wispy, ethereal, blue stuff that just sort of appears, and there's blank spots, and in order to get those blank spots, I, um, clear-coated some certain spots, which didn't quite turn out, and you can't really see them very well, but otherwise, from a distance, I suppose you can see it. So, <clears throat> yeah, I see a guardian spear. I really like it. Um, yeah, so hold on while I get reconfigured to uh, set up the uh, talkie. So hold on. All right, so how did I make this? I found a really good picture that was kind of head on and Pretty much all I did was I just put it up on my TV and then just put some tracing paper over my TV and literally just traced it. That's really all it was. So once I got it on to the trace paper, um, then I just cut it out and used that to 
trace onto the poplar so that I could cut that out. Once all the pieces were cut out, then it was a lot easier to see the shape and it took maybe half the day and the rest of the day was just sort of spent figuring out how I'm going to do the rest of it. I made the, the rearmost compartment the uh, open space that was going to have the electronics. I had to order the, all the LED strip from Amazon and it, it cost like a hundred bucks for 50 meters. All the acrylic paneling, I got some quarter inch acrylic. Again, using the patterns that I had made from the picture that I blew up, it was easy to just take those and trace them all onto a big huge sheet of acrylic so that when you cut it out, you have all these nice pieces and stuff. And of course it's got the backing on it so you get, they're semi-protected until you're ready to do other stuff with it. The way I went about making them wrap around, I pretty much just did both sides and then there's one piece that goes across mostly the top ridge. Basically, I just took the band file to it and shaped it however I felt was appropriate. And so once I went through them with the band file, you could see that they're a little bit hazy, but that's all just diffusion. I went over it with white paint to get some of the shapes down, and it ended up being translucent. Really, all it was is just ended up being big orange glowy parts, which I was perfectly fine with because it still looked pretty cool. So for the coloring, I, I wanted to have parts of it white but speckled brown to give it sort of a, a dirty beige color, which is a, another ancient slash guardian theme in the game. The LED strip, the way I went about that was um, I just cut trenches into the wood and I eventually had to go back and tweak this a whole bunch of times just to get the centering of the LEDs and the circles correct, but that's pretty much how I just did that was to cut trenches in the wood and then cover it all up with acrylic. The pommel was a little challenging just to get the shape right, and I don't have a lathe, and this would have been so much easier if I had a lathe, but I don't. Of course, I gotta be stubborn. So with the LEDs, the blade LEDs in particular, so I had to cut divots in it, and once I did that, then it was kind of partially hazed, and to fix that, I went over it with some crystal clear, clear coat. Had a little problems with some of the diffusion with the, the head, so even now it's still, you can see those pinpoints of light. So, que sera, sera. Finally, when I was done with it, I got to take pictures of it, and I was very, very happy with how it turned out. There were a couple of hiccups along the way that all I equated to in the end were just problem-solving steps that had to get eventually solved but for the most part i really enjoy the process of all of that and i'm happy that it turned out the way it did so thanks for watching